In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters and brothers, today's Mass is offered in memoriam for the soul of Thelma Chu and for boy Edera. Let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from a book from the beginning of the first book of Samuel. There was a certain man from Ramathon, Elkanah by name, a Zuphite from the hill country of Ephraim. He was the son of Jeroham, son of Elihu, son of Tohu, son of Zuth, an Ephraimite. He had two wives, one named Hannah, the other, Peniana. Peniana had children, but Hannah had, was childless. This man regularly went on pilgrimage from his city to worship the Lord of hosts and to sacrifice to him at Shiloh, where the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were ministering as priests of the Lord. When the day came for El Elkanah to offer sacrifice, he used to give a portion to each, uh, uh, to each wife, Peniah, and to all her sons and daughters, but a double portion to Hannah, because he loved her, though the Lord had made her barren. Her rival, to upset her, turned it into a constant reproach to her that the Lord had left her barren. This went on year after year. Each time they made a pilgrimage to the sanctuary of the Lord, Peniah would approach her and Hannah would, would, greet, would weep and refuse to eat. Her husband, Elkanah, used to ask her, Hannah, why did you weep? And why do you refuse to eat? Why do you grieve? Am I not more to you than 10 sons? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To you, Lord, I offer sa a sacrifice of praise. To you, Lord, I offer a sacrifice of praise. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good he has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. To you, Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful ones. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. Dear Lord, I will sacrifice to praise. My vows to the Lord I will pay pay in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord, in the midst of Jerusalem.
repent and believe in the gospel. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. As he passed by the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting their nets into the sea, for they were fishermen. Jesus said to them, Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Then they left their nets and followed him. He walked along a little further and saw James. They too were in a boat, mending their nets. Then he called them. So they left their father Zebedee in the boat, along with the hired men, and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus. Father Henry and I, we board minister at Mercy Crest, so it's honor for him, I invite him if he can concelebrate with me. You know, we follow the dictum of Bishop Taylor. There is no such thing as a retired priest in our diocese. They only become senior priests. And so that he won't butcher, uh, butcher me, I won't butcher his last name. It's Henry Mishkovsky. Thank you, Father Henry. You know, when Jesus calls us to be his disciples, there are two basic prerequisites. One is to have a repentant heart, and the other is to have a belief in the gospel. Sometimes we make human commandments or standards of what a disciple ought to be, when Jesus already knew before each and every one of us what our characters are. When we are chosen to be one, we have to have first a repentant heart. And to have a repentant heart is more than just being sorry. A repentant heart is willing to sacrifice for Jesus and one who transformed his or her life for Jesus despite one's unworthiness. Being a fisherman can stink. It is not prideful. To have a fishy order. Simon, Andrew, James, and John are not scholars or white-collared professionals, but they are skilled in what they do, and Jesus likely saw their repentant hearts. They are, after all, just simply humble fishermen. The virtue of humility makes one sensitive and responsive to the power of charisma, that is in Jesus. His charisma is so powerful that the apostles left their nets, and for James and John, both left their nets and also relationships. They left their father in order to follow Jesus. The magnetic call from Jesus to discipleship can be impulsive that makes one leave whatever he or she is doing in order to follow him. That leap of faith towards Jesus can only be made possible if we have a repentant heart 
and that conviction and desire to be transformed. It is more than conversion, my sisters and brothers. You have to be transformed. To be a disciple will not be possible if we do not believe the gospel, the good news, who is Jesus himself. Do you feel called to do more in your faith for others and for the church? Is Jesus calling you to a more transformed and faithful Catholic way of life this year? If you have a repentant heart and believe in Jesus, then you ought to be ready. Jesus' charisma will make you follow him, make you leave whatever you're doing, instantaneously make you drop your nets, and before you know it, you have become fishers of men. With simplicity of heart, let us place our needs in the care of our loving Father. For the prophetic church, the voice of Christ in the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For honest leaders who attend to the good of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For hopeful families who raise children in difficult circumstances, let us pray to the Lord. For all gathered here who seek holiness in every life, in their conversion and transformation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and remembrance and for the repose of the souls of Thelma Chu, Jacinto Boy Edera, and Daryl Bates, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for your personal intentions, especially for all families whose children have become unchurched. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord Faithful God, hear our humble petitions and humble our simple pride and grant what we ask in the name of Jesus our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Prove that the earth will work human hands and to become for us the bread of life. Amen. By the mysterious water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit, the Father, heart will be accepted by you, O Lord, and merit sacrifice in sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness 
and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey, who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heart. Thus of his seed comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the heart. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gates we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony Basil, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Glorious Martyrs, and with all the saints that please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, to such our apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Menace mingling of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us and receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May we sing by Jesus Christ. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Humbly we ask the Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.